Hi, so I'm going to show you very quickly how to get started with the command line tools on the Esprino JavaScript boards. Um, so I have here a um, text file open in Atom, we'll come to that later, and um, I have a, a terminal window. Now you need to have Node.js and npm installed, you can get them from the Node.js website. Um, and then if you're on Linux you need sudo, but on other platforms you don't have to worry, you just do npm install minus g esprino. Um, now I've already done that and it takes a while so I won't execute that but after you've done that it means that you will have a file called um, esprino. And if you run this minus minus help you'll get a list of things you can do. Uh, if you run it on its own it will um, try and connect to, um, to a communication support if there's only one. Um, if there's more than one available then, um, then it will, will just fail. But um, but you know now you can you can um, oops you can actually communicate with the the board itself and execute things on it um, you know find out temperature and stuff like that um, to to exit hit Control C and hit Control C again um, you can list all the available ports um, so um, on Linux this is quite a lot of them but um, on Windows and Mac OS it will be less. Um, it will also detect any Bluetooth low energy devices with communication ports available. So that'll be things like PuckJS when it comes out. Um, and you'll be able to connect to them in exactly the same way. Um, so if you want to connect to a specific one, you just do esprino minus P and the, um, the name of the port. Um, and, and that will, will work fine. Um, so other interesting options you can use, um, you can upload a file directly, you just specify it. Um, so in this case I've got test.js um, and it's going to upload that file um, and then it exits straight away. You can also execute um, uh, expressions straight on the board. Um, so if I know how to do that, um, it's esprino minus e and a command. Um, so for instance maybe you want to turn a light on and off just from a command line you can really easily call this command with sort of esprino maybe port name minus e and then maybe digital write led1 comma 1 or something um, although maybe you need to do it in quotes on Linux so um, yeah so in that case it's executed it that's fine um, but the really interesting thing for development is um, when you're specifying the file name, you can specify minus minus watch or minus w before it. And this will cause um, the Esprino tools to upload that file. It'll go straight into the terminal mode um, and will stay open. So you can kind of, you know, do stuff just like you, you would have done before. Um, but now if you edit your file and you, um, you change it and you save it, uh, it will detect that it's been saved and it will upload it again. Um, so, you know, you can use your favourite editor um, and you can get started, do everything really, really quickly and easily with it. Um, thanks for watching.